Watch my videos in your own language. Enable captions, click settings, then subtitles, auto translate. And now choose your own language. Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're back with sneak peek number three of the upcoming update 3.10. Uh, and today we're mainly gonna be focusing on Guild Wars because Guild Wars has a big improvements and changes and additions in this update, uh, starting with defenders. Yes, now in this update, you can select up to three uh, teams to uh, protect you uh, uh, and have more control of who actually fights for you instead of being uh, randomized. Uh, so you can choose the equipment they're gonna have, you can choose the, 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 the positions, who's gonna be first, second and third. Uh, and uh, yeah, the game basically afterwards take a snapshot and then these become uh, your defenders in uh, the in the in the wars and in the battles. Uh, so this means because the game takes a snapshot, this means that uh, any trade rerolls, upgrades, uh, anything you do, equipment changes, you have to go back and save it again so that it's uh, updated to uh, to the latest uh, version. Uh, and keep in mind that the stats you're gonna see the damage and health is gonna show you together with weapons and badges, but badges are not accounted for in the, when you're they're defending. So yes, you're gonna see maybe higher numbers because of the badges, but badges are not uh, um, uh, gonna take it, gonna be taken into effect when uh, you have your defenders uh, defending your uh, you during guild wars. Um, next up, we have infused weapons, and this is a, a brand new type. It's not really a type of weapon. It's basically normal weapons with a fourth trait, and this trait is a normal trait, so it basically it stacks up with lucky, but it's like uh, more. Uh, stronger I guess because you have a special extra uh, trait and they're only exclusively available from Guild Wars shops so it's something exclusive from Guild Wars I guess they want to make you play more Guild Wars and it's I guess more rewarding to play Guild Wars because you get to play with these exclusive weapons um, yeah okay and uh, next up we have the return of the long-awaited Guild War gas uh, so yes yes you're gonna be able to use Guild War gas uh, to replay missions that you failed uh, so you can only replay missions each mission once in a battle with Guild War gas and this only happens when you fail the mission in the fail mission screen you can use retry and use Guild War gas to replay the mission this means that you have to use the same survivors with the same equipment and badges to replay the mission right you cannot use a different set of survivors or equipment or badges you have to use the exactly same one you used when you failed the mission so it only gives you an option to try it once more and uh, the cost of replay is going to increase for every mission you do in that battle so the more missions you do in the battle the the the, the more expensive it's going to become um and also uh the all the guild war gas that you guys had before from the previous war uh, from the previous well years ago when it came out, uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna have it again. You're gonna keep it the same number of gas you had, and this update gift is also gonna give you free Guild War gas as well. Uh, and finally, we have some rebalances of Guild War maps and objectives. So uh, there is a new objective, kill the tough walker, which is really cool. Um, missions objectives are more streamlined and simplified in order to avoid uh, particularly difficult combinations. Uh, and, and we have also optimization of enemy generation to avoid those excessive spawns. Um, fast walkers are also now added to guild war missions, which is really interesting here. Um, uh, each terrain, so the forest, the sanctuary and the junkyard, they have uh, like a specific uh, pool of walker types that are assigned to these uh, Areas. This is really cool. It helps you plan better because you know, kind of know what walkers you kind of should are gonna experience, to f like what what walkers you actually gonna fight. Uh, so this is really interesting uh, in the planning of this. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much all the changes to Guild Wars. Uh, so we have the Guild War gas, we have the uh, infused weapons, and the defenders uh, coming up uh, in this uh, next Guild Wars season and seasons to come. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll see you guys all on the next sneak peek.